Liam, what was your experience? I was bullied throughout the entire of school and for me it started on very early on and then towards the end of school it became a lot more serious and a lot more kind of physical and I did experience a bit of cyberbullying and um, you know for me I was I was always targeted for homophobic comments and for me I kind of internalized that and saw my sexuality as a problem and we know um, from research at Digital Label that a lot of young people are targeted for highly visible things so there's a tendency for them to want to change themselves so that has a massive implication on your self-esteem. And Lucy these figures make startling reading I mean do you think online bullying is getting far worse? It's definitely getting worse but what we have to remember is that bullying has always been there the, the problem is that bullying often used to stop at the school gate or at least at your front door now it can actually go into your home into your bedroom into the palm of your hand so it's very pernicious the great thing about having um, things like Childline or Liam's charity is that now children have got somewhere to go, they've got people to talk to, because the worst thing is either feeling that you're not believed or feeling that nobody will be there to help you. But this is it. Once upon a time, we were told, don't have computers mm. in your bedroom. Don't let your children have computers. Now they've all got mobile phones, they've all got access to the internet 24-7. Absolutely. I mean, that must be a huge problem for people who experience things like you did. Yeah. Well, I mean, social media is so integrated within our lives and, you know, it's incredibly traumatic because historically people home was escapism but now it's coming from every single angle which makes it very very difficult for young people to try and deal with and it gets very very kind of suffocating um, we find a lot of young people they don't know where to turn they feel very embarrassed about reporting cyberbullying they don't feel like they're going to be taken seriously and also a lot of them don't actually know what cyberbullying is what counts as cyberbullying and what doesn't I think it's very important to have an education so that children do understand that when certain things are happening to them this is actually bullying mm. and that it's not acceptable and that there are places to go to talk about it. And what about a parent's role? What can they do to help stop this? Parents need to be very open, very approachable. They need to also be very technology savvy. They need to be able to understand what could be happening to their child. It's not enough to say, oh, I leave that kind of thing to my child. Um, just be very approachable and also deal with bullying very firmly so that your child sees that the way to deal with bullying is to set the boundary and be very firm. And then what did you do to stop the bullies? I had a counsellor. Um, I started off internalising it and that had massive implications on my self-esteem. I was very lucky. I've got a very open family. Um, my mum was always very proactive with bullying. I did report it to the teachers. I didn't really find it was taken very seriously. Um, I used um, the internet as escapism and we know a lot of young people uh, use online. Online gaming, for example, is escape escapism from their situation. I think there is one small problem, which is that sometimes it isn't taken seriously because the old idea mm. that it was character building, that you should actually just sort of ignore um, it, ignore it mm. and develop a sort of thick skin, was the way that it was dealt with. But that's not the way to deal with it. Set the boundary and accept that bullying is never okay. good. Yep.